Today on The Daily Dose. The Age of Imperialism in China. After Qing Dynasty leaders attempted to limit Western influence by establishing the Canton system, which forced all foreign merchants to trade only in the port of Canton, now known as Guangzhou, during the Age of Imperialism, such restrictions resulted in rising tension between China and are oftentimes bullying trading partners from Britain, France, Russia, Germany, and Japan. During imperialism's peak in the 19th century, Britain in particular traded heavily in China for the much coveted commodities of tea, silk, and porcelain. But since the British lacked sufficient silver to affect purely monetary transactions, they traded heavily in opium instead creating generations of addicted Chinese while ushering in long periods of civil unrest in Chinese society. China's pushback against the British resulted in the First Opium War of 1839 to 1842 and the Second Opium War of 1856 to 1860, two back-to-back -back losses for China that led to the unequal treaties that opened up further trading rights for Western powers as well as rising foreign influence in the once isolationist nation. China's weakening hand saw the rise of outside spheres of influence in China after the mid-1800s, allowing the Russians to take control of a large portion of northern China, while the Japanese severed Chinese dominance over Korea, which led to yet another crushing defeat for the Qing Dynasty in the First Sino-Japanese War of 1894 to 1895, which forced China to hand over control of Korea, the island of Taiwan, and the Laodong Peninsula. For its part, while the United States made no regional claims into China, they insisted on an open-door policy, which called for equal access to trade in China for all nations involved. After centuries of Western influence in China, a wave of nationalism arose near the end of the 19th century, leading to the Boxer Rebellion of 1899 to 1901, which sought to end Western imperialism in China, as well as the ousting of Christian missionaries from their land. As the rebellion spread, Qing Empress Dowager Cixi declared war on all foreign nations with diplomatic ties to China, leading to an eight-nation force of some 20,000 troops who crushed the rebellion in 1901. In keeping with China's bad luck pushback against foreign invaders, China signed the Boxer Protocol on September 7th of that same year, which saw the destruction of military fortifications surrounding Beijing, a two-year prohibition on arms imports, and a payment of $330 million in reparations to the foreign powers that ended the rebellion, making imperialism in China a symbiotic yet unwanted remnant in near Chinese history. And there you have it, the age of imperialism in China, today on The Daily Dose. If you want early access to Daily Dose documentaries before they're made publicly available, consider supporting us on Patreon so that you too could feed the filmmakers who feed your brain.